What's going down, AMD fans? For everyone new to the network, hit that subscription button, get excited, and accompany it with the notification bell for the future patch note that will follow for this. This is an FSR face-off, and as I begin in the very background, we can see our title that is running, and there are newer titles that are coming. In fact, I think there are about seven to eight more for as far as the people that have invested the time in the software development, which, what is FSR? Well, it's something that a game developer is going to utilize that AMD supplied for free. And that's what we're going to size up. Now, is the Adrenaline software of 21.7.1 a little better than the 21.7.2? And that's what we'll be digesting. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at 10 days and see what we can cook up for some FPS. Now, we'll be go ahead and take a brief look at each round, one being the regular with everything off, just the native card itself. FSR on the high ultra quality and the performance. Then we'll size those two up against each other in the settings for what will happen driver to driver. This will also give us a nice little hint and foreshadowing of what will come from the patch notes and benchmarks that will come shortly after this video. 56.4 is the score to beat with the next driver lined up as we will see at the very end of this video with the current windows software installed everything lined up for the higher quality straight out the gate this is uh pretty good about 72 on the fps so we're already gaining about like roughly about 15 to 16 frames on average. It's not looking too bad for as far as the tears. The shadowing seems to work really well for the higher quality. I'm liking what we see here. The only thing I can see is like wall texturing and just like something around the portion of turning where you get a little bit of like a frame jitter tear. But let's go ahead and see how this rounds up. 75.8 for the higher quality. Let's go ahead and see what performance looks like. Right out the gate, we already have over 100 FPS. Not too bad for the older driver, well-tuned within the Windows ecosystem, which a lot of times can be the tale of if you're not looking for a fix inside of an optional, which is normally introducing a brand new card or them tweaking something for a community portion of GPU family that has been plagued with the newer OS that they roll out from time to time. But inside of this, I'm definitely liking it. Performance seems to really have this FSR statement for the 21.7.1 so far. But let's just see how it ends. 109.1, as we see the higher temperature points of FPS and performance for the older driver. Let's go ahead and get the newer driver installed and we'll take a look at just it off and size it up. As you can see, the test starts out with the newer driver, 21.7.2, and 55 and dropping down to 54. Now, there is a little bit for as far as I'm noticing flickering within like the lights, like the gold treasure chest aura over there, and something for as far as it seems like it's trying to just frame tear its way through the universe. Let's go ahead and see where it ends up. The test comes in with just beating it by a hair, but you can see the vertical like tears were probably not the best situation for as far as the way we could uh, operate from uh, driver to driver. So, and that's just when my Radeon 7 could be different with other people's, maybe with the 6000 series. But let's go ahead and take a look at what high quality looks like. Not too shabby, it's sitting around 72 for as far as the first turnabout. Shadowing looking really great. Not as much tears as it was with its counterpart, but let's go, yeah, it is still there. You're noticeable when coming around from that uh, golden aura. Though it seems like the NPC and hopefully the wall is a little bit more cleaned up than the higher quality version of this. Let's go ahead and take another look at the very end. Not bad. We gained in FPS over the last driver install so this doesn't speak volumes for as far as performance without fsr titles that they are kind of sneaking in here and there that might be a little bit more tuned with the amd software but at the same time let's see how performance sizes up already at a nice 100 as it coasts across the pixels 
Now, one thing I can notice is that it has a longer stretch for as far as the shadowing, and hopefully, now well, it's just a faster frame tear. So this driver seems like it is kind of like carrying some like golder elements in some of them, but it's not unique uh, to just that color. It seems like coming around the bend for the, as far as that little artifact that was kind of glowing there, it didn't have the same as versus the treasure chest, so maybe it could be combination items. Let's see how this ends up in the end. So there you go, 111, two FPS higher than what the normal score was. So halfway through the benchmarks already done for 21.7.1 in the current ecosystem and we're about to finish the 21.2 for as far as the uh, patch notes that will roll out after this video and hopefully will be linked up above. So everyone, I will see you guys and gals in the near future. If you are new to the network, you can always subscribe. It's absolutely free, helps me out as a creator. And if you do, who knows, maybe GPUs will be just plentiful across the board for everyone. Because I did notice that, like, even though that they are saying that, like, stuff is coming down, I'm not really seeing an impact. And I would like to just be able to scroll on any site, not just at the end of the video to say, like, hey, it would be nice if Jensen or Lisa Sue or whoever Intel kicks into CEO mode, you know, sponsors GPUs for me and everyone. Honestly, I think it should be a fair thing, but shortages are shortages, and we're in a very interesting time right now. That's why it's a very fun, like, uh, I guess, joke at the very end is just trying to catch a wild GPU out there nowadays that you want is really hard. But leave a comment down below. What GPU are you excited about rolling out in the next venture? And what systems are you guys playing these games on for as far as the installments go? Like, what's your CPU in tandem with that GPU? I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.